ICT 2026 aspirants, so whenever a student starts preparing for an exam, the most important thing they look for or should look for is syllabus. Otherwise, you will end up studying everything and still missing out on important thing. So, in this video, I am going to discuss the detailed syllabus of physics, chemistry, maths and bio for KCT 2026 examination. Now, there are so many uh, websites where the syllabus are there, right? But the most authentic one, the most relevant, most trustworthy uh, website is your KEA website. So, I will be telling you the KEA website that has given us the syllabus of 2025 and it will remain pretty much similar to the 2026. If any changes come in the syllabus, we will definitely notify you. But for now, you can start preparing according to the 2025 syllabus. Okay. So, you can go to the KEA website, you can see here, I will be discussing this. So, first of all, let us see the syllabus for physics. Okay. So, we have both PU1 and PU2. So, this is okay, just a minute. Yeah, physics syllabus is here. So, you can see class 11 theoretical, we have units and measurements, and these are the subtopics that you can look for. Okay, so you can take a screenshot if you want, and you can just see what all subtopics are there. Then you have kinematics, okay, frame of reference, motion in a straight line, these are the concepts that is required. Then you have laws of motion, okay, units are mentioned here, laws of motion. Under that, you have uh, in uh, intuitive con concept of force, inner inertia, Newton's first law of motion. So, just you can take a screenshot of this one and you can see at least 16 periods are required for completing this chapter. Then you have unit 4 that is work, energy and power. Then you have unit 5 motion of system and the particles and the rigid body. So, you can take a screenshot here and can prepare accordingly these all terms, numericals re related to these terms should be done. Then you have gravitation. Okay, So, gravitation unit 6 is there. Then then you have unit 7 properties of bulk and matter okay so here you can see uh, so much big and you can see i think this is one of the biggest chapter you can see almost 26 periods are required and then you have thermodynamics okay then you have behavior of perfect gas and kinetic theory and last unit i think is oscillation and waves okay and this is the most important thing what is the reference book that is told by kea for kct examination you have to refer for physics part 1 for class 11 and physics part 2 for class 11 latest revised edition okay then we'll go to class 12 okay so the first unit here is electrostatics and you have electric charges and their properties electric field electric flux conduct and insulators. So, this whole things will be coming. So, you can take a screenshot here. Next, we have current electricity. Okay, here all the chapters are mentioned. Uh, the topics that are required here is there and then you have magnetic effect of current and magnetism. Okay, again a big chapter here. Then we have here electromagnetic induction and alternating current. Then unit 5 we have electromagnetic waves. Electro unit 6 is optics uh, where you have wave optics. Okay. Then I have unit 7 here if you can see which is dual nature of ma matter and radiation. Okay. Then unit 8 we have atoms and nuclei and unit 9 we have electronic and devices. Electronic devices. Here also reference book if you see it is textbook of physics part 1 and textbook of physics part Okay. Now, moving to uh, chemistry syllabus, you can see. So, similarly, you can see for chemistry, the first unit is some basic concepts of chemistry. Here, you have to focus on mole concept and different, different topics present here. Unit 2 is structure of atom, classification of elements. Then, we have chemical bonding and molecular structure. Then, I have thermodynamics in unit 5. Then, you have... Uh, Equilibrium in unit 6 and unit 7 is redox reaction, unit 8 is organic chemistry, some basic principles and techniques and then unit 9 we have hydrocarbons. Okay, And then we have uh, reference books for chemistry, textbook for class 11 that is your uh, the book that you have to refer. Here also we have part 1 and part 2. Now, moving to the 12th class chemistry syllabus, first chapter is solutions, then we have electrochemistry, then we have chemical kinetics, D and F block elements, coordination compounds, haloalkins and haloarenes, 
then we have alcohols phenols and ethers you can check a screenshot and these topics you have to focus more okay then you have aldehydes ketones carboxylic acids then you have organic compounds containing nitrogen then you have biomolecules okay and here we have again the reference book for chemistry textbook for class 12 ncrt book is asked again here we have part 1 and part 2 books okay now moving to the maths syllabus if you see we have uh, in mathematics class 11 unit 1 you have sets and functions in that first one chapter is set then you have relations and functions then you have trigonometric functions unit 2 is algebra here we have complex numbers and quadratic equations linear inequalities then we have permutation and combination binomial theorem and sequence and series then in unit 3 coordinate geometry you have straight lines conic sections introduction to 3d geometry and lastly for unit 4 calculus not lastly sorry calculus you have limits and derivatives then statistics and probability you have chapter statistics as well as probability and here the reference book mentioned is also ncrt book for class 11 okay moving to the pu2 syllabus you have again unit 1 is relation and functions here, here you have chapter relations and functions then inverse trigonometric functions then unit 2 is algebra where we have matrices determinants unit 3 is calculus where we have continuity and differentiability applications of derivatives then you have integrals applications of integrals and differential equation unit 4 vector and 3d geometry you have vectors 3d geometry then unit 5 linear programming and unit 6 is probability some chapters some topics are removed right so you can just see these topics whatever chapters or topics are removed that you can uh, skip next we'll go to bio syllabus okay so bio if you see class 11 we have so many chapters here diversity in living world here you have chapter 1 living world biodiversity chapter 2 biological classification chapter 3 plant kingdom chapter 4 animal kingdom you can see these topics which are mentioned here silent features and classification of plants into major groups like algae bryophytes pteridophytes and gymnosperms these are the things that you have to focus on okay more priority should be given to those topics what is written here okay not everything then structural organization in plants and animals so you have morphology of flowering plants here anatomy of flowering plants structural organization in animals unit 3 cell structure you have uh, cell biomolecules and then cell cycle and cell division then unit 4 is plant psychology where you have sorry plant physiology where you have photosynthesis in higher plants respiration in plants plant growth and development then you have human uh, physiology where we have breathing and exchange of gases body fluids and circulation excretory products and their elimination locomotion and movement neural control and coordination chemical coordination and integration okay and the reference for book for this is also ncrt class 11 book now moving to uh, class 12 you have reproduction where we have sexual reproduction in flowering plants chapter 2 human reproduction chapter 3 reproductive health okay then unit 2 is genetics and evolution here we have chapter 4 principles of inheritance and variation chapter 5 molecular basis of inheritance chapter 6 is evolution now uh, we have biology in human welfare here chapter 7 is human health and disease chapter 8 is microbes in human welfare and then last unit is biotechnology and its applications chapter 9 is biotechnology chapter 10 is biotechnology and its application okay one more unit is there ecology and environment where you have organisms and populations ecosystem and biodiversity and conservation okay so here again the reference book is for biology and CRT book for class 11 so these are the portions for your theory but in 2025 even the practical sections were introduced okay so let me just show you the practical uh, uh, portion so biology if you see you have uh, principles related to practical biology this you can still study and describe the locally available common flowering plants then you can see the list you can take a screenshot here so these are all the portions for biology okay almost 16 points are there that you have to see here next if i talk about uh, chemistry so chemistry also you can see you have a detection of extra elements detection of functional groups so next you have titration here then salt analysis okay acid based titration so these are the topics in practicals that you should focus on now coming to physics practicals if you see you have vernier calipers crew gauss simple pendulum surface tension coefficient of viscosity sound of the uh, speed of sound in air specific heat capacity resistivity 
gravity resistance then you have focal length plot of the angle between uh, angle of deviation and angle of incidence refractive index and characteristics curves of p and junction diode so these are the syllabus for both practical and theory for chemistry physics biology and maths these are the most authentic resources that you should follow so please take a print out of this one keep it yourself and whenever you are studying whichever topics you are getting covered please stick it in the uh, syllabus so that you have an idea what is completed what is left how to complete how much time it should be taking so have an idea accordingly okay plan according to this syllabus okay so that's all in this video thank you for watching and we are now coming up with the exclusive syllabus for each subject so do watch them thank you for watching once again all the best and keep smiling and keep studying